Hello, everybody, and welcome into part four of our Germany Wonderstar Challenge. And I'm not lying to you here. I'm not going to lie to you here. There may be nukes in our future. I'm not going to tell you how this part goes. All I'm going to say is that Gaul has a pretty rough time this episode, so I hope you enjoy it. I've kind of resigned this to being a longer, more fun, more quirky, a less analytical, and more destructive performance, and I hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys are enjoying this series, come check us out live on Twitch. Link in the description. We stream Civ there um, Friday nights, Saturday nights, and a couple, a couple other times per week. So it's a good time to come hang out over there. There are other links in the description as well. Otherwise, let's just hop right into part four. Part five might be coming at your Friday morning. It might be coming at your Saturday morning. I'm just not sure about my work schedule. So I apologize if it's, apologize if it's not out Friday morning. I think that's it though. Let's hop in and let's let's see why Gaul has a tough time in this one. It's Wednesday morning. I've got a big fat coffee. It's actually Tuesday morning as I record this, but you're seeing this on Wednesday morning. And we are going to, in eight turns, buy a bomber and bamboozle Gaul, I think is the plan. I think that's gonna be the plan. I, <laughs> I got really excited yesterday. I know we're meant to be going for a science win. We'll still do that on the side. But let's, let's have some fun killing some people. I think that'll be a good time. It's actually wild to me that we are at broadcast centers and have less than 100 culture. This is a... <laughs> this is a mismatch in where we're at compared to where we could be, but that's all right. We're doing fine. We're, we're, we're ramping up. I'm going to grab Wukong. That way when we do go to war down here, Wukong can run around, give us vision for our planes to attack, but also pillage some tiles along the way with having a low possibility of getting killed because he can't be seen unless he's uh, adjacent to another unit. So I think we'll be able to move Wukong in here to help us use our bombers to get through, and it should be fun. Oh my god! Oh my god, yes, 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 yes! He's gonna declare war on us! Oh, yay, 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 yay! Oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm happy now. All right, phone, shut up. Phone, be quiet. What do you need? This is so good. If you're in these types of games and you have cities and you're not quite sure what to build for a couple of turns, feel free to always uh, go in and build campus research grants or what, whatever you need for whatever victory type you're going for. Getting that little bit of extra science per turn is great, but also getting the great scientist points is awesome as well. It really lets you kind of take control of the game, especially if you're not too far behind everyone else. It'll keep us in the hunt while we try and figure out a way to kill Gaul here, which is perfect. This Magus is pretty cool here, this ability. I've never gone Hermetic Order down this far. At least I can't remember the last time I did. So being able to get yields on Leyline Tiles per great person we earn is actually pretty cool. So that should be fun. Also, it makes some of our Leyline Tiles up here. Yeah, here it is. Very, very cool. Right, this becomes a great tile. It definitely makes you want to settle this city up here. So I might have to grab another settler because these tiles are getting ridiculous now. I'm going to make a trade with Japan here. I think we should be able to squeeze it in. Yeah, we can. Just to make sure I have enough gold on hand to buy a bomber in two turns, I want to be able to buy one right away in this aerodrome. Also, it should give us enough gold to upgrade some of our units we have. I'm not too worried about it, though. I'm just going to wait for planes. I'll build units in the cities that can build units right now. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. That is not what I meant to do. All right, well, that warrior is dead. I... <laughs> I did not mean to click that. Anyways, um, we shall be maneuvering around here, waiting for bombers, and having some fun killing some units. So yeah. I'm going to build a spy up here. What I'm going to use my spy for is you need vision to be able to attack with planes. We have purchased our first bomber now, which is sweet. So I do need vision in these cities to be able to attack them. So instead of moving units up to get the vision, I'm just going to place a spy in the city to get the vision, and that should be easy enough. It looks like we're going to get a free city right off the bat, though, with some aluminum, which is fantastic. On the science tree, I'm just going to fill in some of the units we've been missing here. Some ranged units, cavalry, some of these upgrades that we probably need too. You can see they did a good number on Trier just because their units were powerful. We're going to be fine. I sacrificed a few units for the cause just to make sure the city didn't go down. Um, but not being able to upgrade to field cannons or muskets feels pretty bad. But what I am able to do now is combine these all into um, core units, which is what I will do shortly. 
So I'm going to start the attack with the bombers now. I am building a few more just in the cities that have aerodromes. I'd love to buy some more too if I could. But these do so much damage. So you can see that I can only attack tiles that I have vision of. There's nothing to attack on these tiles so I can't attack them. But I can't attack this city center because I can't actually see it. But we are going to do a good number to some of these encampments to kind of break our way in here and start taking some of these cities. I'm going to start combining our units together to make core units. That'll be our first one. And then we, we should be catching up with Gaul in terms of tech anyway. But between some core units and the bombers and Wukong running around causing a ruckus, I think we're going to be in a pretty good spot for a little bit. As mentioned earlier, I'm going to put the spy in Duracorder on here. That way one of the establishes will be able to see all the tiles around it and hit them with our bombers, which is exactly what we're hoping to do here. Um, for the vision here, I've moved Wukong up here to get some pillages in. So what I'll do is I'll, mer I'll move Hercules up the road, get the vision, attack, and then move Hercules back so he's not in the way. Hercules is an absolute machine, just tearing down units left and right. This is so fun. Means we're not going to get an attack in this turn with the bomber, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Wukong running around, pillaging stuff, giving us that faith. Oh, so good. Love Wukong. Wukong's very fun. I'm going to re-up with the, uh, the alliances with the people that I was allied with. What's really cool about this is because Gaul declared war on me, they're not super pissed off at me yet, which is great. If I declared war on Gaul, they would have been much more angry. So just sneaking in here, getting these alliances that we had before is very, very helpful. Just to make sure people can't dip out in the middle of this war and start attacking us as well. So this is the vision trick I was talking about earlier. You can move a unit up, get the vision, hit with the bomber here. And then we can move that same unit back so we're out of vision again and not have to worry about getting hit. And so you can manipulate vision that way to your advantage if you need to in a war situation like this. Oh, look who's come calling. Look who's come calling. Ten turns into their war. They started. Now it's not my war. This is not my war. And look who's there trying to give us gold for peace. Get out of here. No chance, dude. Not a chance, my guy. I'm going to grab one more settler here to settle this city with all these ley lines. This is a ridiculous city to settle. Great um, great yields on the tiles, obviously, but also some bopping districts here. So that's our plan for this city is just to settle one here. Uh, I'm going to move one of the districts down here for sure, maybe a campus. Bring Hercules back to build them. It's going to be very, very, very good. I'm going to grab a military engineer here. At some point, you're going to need military engineers. Railroads are fun, but to build airstrips, airstrips are going to allow us to um, move planes around without actually having to build aerodromes. So you still need aerodromes to build the planes, but you can use military engineers to just put down airstrips across the map. That way, as we take cities, we can just move all our planes over without worrying about it too much. Part of what makes Mo Wukong amazing... So Wow. Part of what makes Wukong amazing is that unless he's next to another unit, now it can be any unit, a trader, a builder, an apostle, literally any unit, but nobody in the whole Gaul Empire knows he's here right now. So he's just moving around, sneaking between people, pillaging everything in sight. And it's very, very, very helpful because it keeps them distracted a little bit while we can bomb our way over to um, Duro Corderon. What's interesting though is because... Because... Um, taking this would put the unit in between a city and a encampment strike. It's actually quite hard to take this industrial zone here and get rid of it. As you can see here, we can just keep pillaging science all we want and just chill here and no one has any idea. Oh, I love Wukong so much. So much fun. We have two bombers now and you can just see how much damage they do to a city center, especially with only 69. Right, so 77 will be a little harder. Ideally, you have three or four bombers, but you can just melt through... Um, these cities with bombers. Ideally, too, we'd have a little bit of niter that we could use to uh, get bombards with an observation balloon. But so far, so good on the war front. Things are going fantastic. So you can see now with the spy in place in Dura Corderon, I can just attack the city directly. No need to beat out the bush or anything. We can just go straight over top of everything and attack here. And I'll probably keep Wukong here kind of hiding. And that way, when we're ready, we can take the city with Wukong. <laughs> Gaul! Gaul, man. You may have sniped my Cursor Core because you're a dinkhead. 60 gold for 30 is tempting, but no, we're good. We're also losing out on the amenities, so I'm hoping to find um, in some of these cities here some amenities that we don't already have. Can we take this city this turn? I didn't think we'd be able to do it this turn. I think we might be able to. That's her down to zero, baby. Bombers OP! Hey! <laughs>
We've done it! Hooray! All right, let's keep this city. Now we have Knight or two. We can take Sam, Samaro, Breva. Oh, God. Woo, this is awesome. It's too bad we lose their unique industrial zone, though, and have to build our own. Otherwise, what do we pick up here? Potala Palace! Oh, yeah, this is going to be sweet. We're keeping this for sure. Cheers, Gaul. All right, we grabbed Victor a few turns ago. That was off screen, but we grabbed Victor a few turns ago just for this precise moment where we might need him to help us with loyalty, which is indeed great. We can move our spy along. I got to bring this great engineer down, and they uh, the great engineer can put an airstrip here um, on flatland tiles, and that way we can just use our planes to snipe across here without having to build a whole aerodrome. Whenever you take a city, it's always good to just repair what needs repairing first. It's the most efficient way to kind of get the city back online. And then we'll focus on exactly what we need to do in here to, to build it up to be an awesome city for us. I grabbed the gold unit upgrade card so we can upgrade to uh, cavalry on the cheapy cheap. Same with field cannons or anything else we want to upgrade to. I also really delayed another government just because we were trying to get up the culture tree as fast as possible. So I'm just circling back for a few more card slots along the way. And then we shall continue the beatdown of Gaul. You need aerodromes to actually build planes in cities, but you can base a plane in each city just for free. So we'll base one here so we can attack Letitia and just at least start on that. But we won't be able to attack with this one, I don't think. Yeah, it's too far away until we are um, using this military engineer to build a airstrip here. But until then, we can still keep taking this city, which will be nice and fun. Haha, <laughs> they're trying to resist my aggression. Please don't murder me. Please don't murder me. Please don't murder me. This is where all these alliances come in because they can't uh, they can't mess with me here. All right, so all these people that were allied with me, which is mostly everyone else, can't really mess with me there, which is great. And that means we are safe from, from government um, or World Congress, things like that. So we're good here to keep on bombing and keep on taking cities in Gaul. Hooray! Poor Letitia. It's just... You start to feel bad after a minute, you know? That's fine, though. We're going to take Samaro Breva, and that'll bring our second plane up here, so then they can both attack Letitia, which is great for us. Cool stuff. So this city doesn't actually have any of these districts. I thought they might. That's a little bit awkward, though, because they could put a unit here and just kill this city again. So I'll try and keep it away from them, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. They don't have anything to repair, so we'll grab walls first. That's fine. Um, but yeah, now we can move the plane up next turn. It's going to be a, a wonderful time. I've grabbed a second military engineer. This first one is going to come up and build a airstrip wherever we need it. But this one is going to actually connect these two cities with a railroad with a railroad for the era score. And that era score should give us the era score we need to get into another golden age, which is perfect for us. Freaking Arabia trying to spy on us. How dare they? How dare they? Can I make a demand? Ask for promise. I don't have enough Diplo favor. Well, next turn I'm going to ask for a promise because that's unacceptable, Arabia. How dare you? Also, though, separate note. These tiles are so good. This is insane. This is, uh, this is ridiculous over here. Um, what are we doing here? What do we want to do here? One sec. How much is a commercial up here? Plus nine. <laughs> This might be the biggest commercial hub I've ever created. It's almost too bad that if I put the commercial hub here, then I can't get an industrial zone here adjacent to it. But like, I'd argue that the industrial zone in the capital is more important anyway. I'm putting that plus nine commercial hub down. Just for the record, easily, easily the biggest commercial hub I've ever had. Man, it's getting tough in Letitia, man. The, once you hit bombers, you can just roll over people though. It happens every time as soon as you hit bombers. We don't even need to take their capital. Just a couple of cities with some amenities. We don't have like truffles, some decent districts, and we are set to go. So this should be two cities connected via railroad. And it is indeed, and that'll give us two era score, which is awesome. Only happens via the first two cities you connect, but it does give us enough era score that we can feel good about finding two more by the time the next era hits in five turns. Also, we're probably taking Letitia this turn. How many more turns do we have on Hercules? We have six more turns of Hercules. That's perfect. I think this is it for Letitia. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can't quite make it in, though. Can the cavalry? Cavalry can't quite make it out either. Too many rivers to cross. That's okay. We'll send Hercules in. He'll take it next turn. China wants 20 aluminum and one of our duplicate mercuries, and he'll give us two great works of art and six gold for 30. That is a fantastic deal. 
I have never taken a deal so quickly in my entire life. <laughs> I don't know why. Why would you even do that? Anyways, now we've done oil. Let us see where the oil exists on the map. Double? Okay, yeah, we definitely got to kill Gaul now. Triple in Gaul. All three we can see are in Gaul. Okay, well, we're, we're going to take over Gaul then because oil is a good time. Oil is a great time. All right, first bomber in. I'm going to use the closer bomber. That way when we take with Hercules here, I can move the farther away bomber up here. And then we can both hit Avaricum without needing to build another airstrip. Airstrips need to be built on flat land and there's not a lot of flat land around here. So the military engineer is here. He's hanging out, but he's not going to be able to do a ton yet until we find a flat land tile to build this airstrip on. I'm going to head to research labs here and then over to uranium. I'm just saying... I'm not I'm not sure why we're going for the uranium. I'm not I'm not in a particular mood for this game. I just say we haven't nuked anyone in a while. I'm just saying we have not nuked anyone in a while. So maybe we'll nuke some. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys will have to let me know in the comments if you want to see some nukes. Maybe I just don't know. I just have, I just don't know. There's no reason we're going for uranium. None at all. Zero zip zilch. I'm going to build the Statue of Liberty in action for no other reason. We don't need it, but the Statue of Liberty can be really helpful in denying the AI a Diplo victory if you're trying to buy some time. The Statue of Liberty is going to give us, are going to give whoever grabs it four Diplo points. And so that's a lot, especially if someone's at 16. It really makes you stressed out for the rest of the game. And so we are going to use our two Wonder Engineers here, and we are going to grab the Statue of Liberty so other people can't grab it. So it's, it's, a, it's a build for denial thing, not build because we need it, but sometimes building things to deny the AI is important as well. <laughs> oh, we have a big whoopsie. Our, our tiles are flooding. Guys, our tiles are flooding. So we're going to head up to flood barriers quick so we can fix this stuff before it becomes permanent and unfixable. And then we'll head towards uranium for no specific reason. But our science numbers should be shooting through the roof pretty soon here as we get more amenities, as we get more campuses, and as we do all of those types of things, we should be should be doing good here. We're just gonna we're just gonna go straight for the heart in Avaricum here, grab Machu Picchu and grab all some of these other there's three wonders here, Taj Mahal. Oh my goodness. Can't believe this isn't a theater square, by the way. Two, four, six. That's ridiculous. Anyways, um, we're gonna we're gonna go straight for the heartland here and take over some more fun districts and cities. We did it! Statue of Liberty! We don't get to watch this one enough, so let's watch watch this in all its glory. Hey, cool. So we got Statue of Liberty. That's a lot of Diplo points for us. Now we have seven crazy. Uh, my, our guy... Our dude Gaul here, he bought a tank, and uh, he bought a tank, and it's uh, it's just, you know, you, when you buy a tank and it just dies because you're sitting, oh god, it's just a big, oh no, just a big, oh dear. We will keep the city though, I hope he's in a dark age next era. If he's in a dark age next era, he is screwed, absolutely dinked. For now, though, we won't put a governor in there just to see what happens as the era changes. We're good. Everything's great. Except for the floods. The floods kind of suck. I was almost done another bomber. Ugh. All right. Let's see what happens in this era here. Let's see how this goes for us. Hopefully, he's in a dark age. Hopefully, hopefully, he's in a dark age. But he's probably not in a golden age if his cities keep getting bamboozled. We'll find out. Everyone's mad, so these guys aren't in a golden age. He is in a dark age. So are Saladin and the Maya. So we should have an easy time with the Maya too. I'm going to focus on just taking out Gaul because I think that'll be the easiest here. So he's in a dark age, which is great. Now, what do we want to pick here? Definitely, definitely not Hicksunt. Not helpful. Reform the coinage will give us a buttload of gold. Campus giving us production is interesting. We have lots of campuses, but I don't know if they're particularly great. And we already have a lot of production. Campus District Science Adjacency. That's getting doubled by policy cards right now. Ah. Uh, international Trade Routes provide plus three gold per specialty district in the foreign city. That's very nice. I'm going to go Heartbeat of Steam, though. I think the Production Awards Wonders as well is good if we need it. I'm going to go Heartbeat of Steam. Can we kick Gaul out of Hattusa? We're getting close. I want to. 
So that should make this a little bit easier. It does indeed a little bit easier to take. And now we can focus on probably Adwatica at 16 and it's his capital. And that should be enough. Oh, Alessia has also got 18. Got 90 defense though. We're going to need a third bomber in here at 90 defense, I think. How much damage is one bomber going to do? Eh, not too much. I mean, it does enough, right? Two bombers per turn over like five turns and that city's done as well. All right, interesting. Good stuff. Let's get the cultist out of here and, and Wukong can heal and that's fine. I'm going to earn double great merchant. Oh, no, not great merchant. Sorry. Great. Um, What am I trying to say here? Engineer points. I'm going to try and earn double great engineer because we're already earning way more than everyone else, which is great. Uh, we don't need to worry about Diplo points anymore because we got Statue of Liberty. It's hard for the AI to win a Diplo game if they don't have Statue of Liberty. Hercules has expired, but we can rebuy him back this era, and we have lots of faith to do that, so that's not a big deal for us at all. My only big concern, he's got tanks running around now, and that's kind of lame for us, especially without walls in Decoderon, Decoratoron, De Decorororiton. Um, we'll probably have to use bombers to kill this tank real quick. Yeah, it's not a bad use of bombers. Anyways, you guys can kind of see how this goes. The planes just make this super easy. Four turns until another bomber. We can probably chop this bomber out if we wanted to. All right, I'm just talking out loud right now. I'm just talking out loud right now. I don't know if you guys find that interesting or not. Hercules has been repurchased immediately, and we will be moving him back up into the fray of the battle here. He can, Hercules can come and deal with this tank. I can use the bombers to take out the city. That's what they're best at. Got 100 strength now. Even at 100, though, like, even at 100, the bombers still do a good chunk of damage, and the wall portion of it can't even heal up. And so, as long as you're hitting the walls and not the health of the city to start, you're gonna get a good chunk done anyway. This friggin' armada has been patrolling this choke point for so long, and it's just so funny. He wounds all of the barbs on the way in, so the field cannon can just bamboozle them once they get here. It's just a very funny little barb controlling system I've cocked up up here. <laughs> this is like the joy of Civ, just these random little things that make you laugh. I appreciate this. I've just given into the fact that this is going to be a very long, very fun, very destructive, very nukey game at some point. And so I'm just going to spam builders in all my cities, connect with the railroad, and bring them over to our new Gaul Empire and spruce up this little area a bit. So this will work just as hard for us as this will. And then we should be able to produce nukes at a super fast clip to destroy the world later in the game. We'll still try and win via science to be very technical about it, uh, but I think there are nukes in our future. And with that being said, I think this is a great place to end this video. I normally try to do four videos on YouTube per kind of series, but I think this one might go five or six. Either way, there's nukes in your future. So I, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy it, like and subscribe button are there for you. Don't be afraid to hit them. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Check the links in the description, and I will see you in the next one.